Hi, this is a quick benchmark of um, MacBook Air, the new version of the MacBook Air released uh, late 2010. Let's look at the box itself. This is a, um, the upgraded CPU, upgraded onboard memory, um, and it is the latest MacBook Air, as you can see here. Yeah, there it is. And uh, let's just run an Xbench. Keep in mind that this Xbench is uh, going to be suffering from screen flow. I'm doing a capture course on this box uh, at the same time, as well as recording this video. Um, while the Xbench is running, just to comment on the video, I've deliberately aimed the camera at a window, so there's actually significant sunlight coming in behind me, and uh, you can see the camera performs all right, given that there's a lot of backlighting. Um, so this box is actually pretty decent. Um, the reason I'm doing this benchmark actually is I was finding the disk a bit slow, so I wanted to quantify that. And it does seem that the SSD, yeah, the built-in solid state, you can see the 4K blocks there, uh, they're coming in now for the uncached reads at about 34 megs per second and the random uncached reads at 15 megabytes per second. And um, another way that I do tests is something like this. Right? Let's open this guy up. And time DD, that equals dev, let's say dev disk zero. OF equals dev no. We'll do one meg blocks and let's read, I don't know, let's say uh, 8,000 megs. Doesn't make being eight gigs roughly. So, ah, okay. Let's try that again. Oops, do that. Okay. So, eight thousand. All right, so we're reading eight gigs, and actually, clearly, it's taking some time. So I might get a bit impatient here. Just break that, and let's just see what the actual read rate was. It's about 31 megs per second. All right, so, so in terms of sequential transfer stuff like that, I, I mean, it's feeling a bit laggy. Uh, now I'm I'm going to make the transition to uh, to the MacBook Air from a MacBook Pro primarily to save on weight. I do a lot of traveling and uh, I just like the idea of carrying less than three pounds around with at least four gigs of RAM, which should give me enough room to run a few VMs. So um, this is a build-to-order option, I believe, online. Um, but I was actually lucky enough to find this uh, built already. At the, uh, at the Apple Store here in Vancouver. So anyhow, hope you enjoyed this little brief um, benchmarking. And uh, if you want to know anything else about this uh, MacBook Air, uh, I'm sure you can find other videos and other pictures and maybe even teardowns somewhere. All right, hope that was useful. Cheers.